we're over here. A little box. And um, not any box. I'll leave it for you guys to be guessing for a little while, but I think you'll probably figure out what kind of a box this is relatively soon. But I thought I'd just give a general tour because this is not a standard PC box. This is this is a bit special this one. So anyway we start from the inside. Here we see we have six card slots. And then we have one that's purely internal. And then we have the actual motherboard holders and as you see they're not exactly placed according to PC standards. <laughs> and then we have the back side. It's got um, two openings here with a blank cover and then one on the side here which is actually this is a post-production hole so this is uh, you, you wouldn't have this uh, if this when you got this from Commodore. And, um, and you have the opening here for the old power supply. So let's see if I can show some more. I think that's that'll get it in the picture good enough. So anyway, if you've been following my channel then you might have noticed that oh I actually succeeded in getting a related motherboard and I actually I think I fixed it. So at least the, the absolute basics are, are work. So this should and then I want to actually check those, check the motherboard holder. So that's one, two, three, four. That's a bit weird that that exists. No. Okay, so that is there. No, okay, so I think that's okay, even if it hasn't got a... So you see you've got these main through holes, but then in this case what they've done is they taken one of the screws away, and then it lands on that area there. And then you have one, one and two, and those are those ones. And you have one, two, three, four, one, two, and I think they must have done the same trick here, yep. Removed, removed the related screw, and then it's that one, and then on the end you have that one, and that's there. Because as you see, they were, they've taken away one of the one of the stands. So this, depending on what motherboard revision you have, because this is not this is not the board that was with this specific case. So I've never slotted a board in so. See if I can put it in place. So it would land. Yeah. So, uh, I had to like buy the box parts, so, like uh, all the bits you know, basically separated. So that was the way I got the <laughs> cost. Of, I, I didn't have enough money to buy a completed complete case um, with with the power supply and other other accessories. So I had to actually I had to actually hunt around for parts. So now we have case motherboard, and then where did I put that? Oh, oh. And of course, you're wondering. Okay, where? Where did the disk drives go and stuff? So then you have this here, which came separate, or I purchased it separately, and then this slots in. I think it was like that. Oi! Yep. I'm wondering why I wasn't going in, but it. And then. 
There are um, uh, four screws that also hold this in place. So just then you have the then you have a base for um, the power supply, and then you have for the disk drives here, and then you have uh, also one location for five and a quarter inch um, disk drive. We we'll go here. Um, yeah, moving on. Turned around so we can actually see better. So, yeah, then we have the power supply problem. And uh, I don't have an original power supply for this unit. And I don't intend to buy one either. There, um, uh, all of them are more. Uh, yeah, uh, all of them are approximately 30 years old. Uh, you can sometimes you can get recapped ones and stuff, and, and then they are very expensive. So let's say 200 euros, 150 euros, or 150 dollars, 200 dollars. And um, I would like to protect the the rest of the electronics because this is also 30 year old stuff. So now you can start guessing what, what this is. So what I'm thinking of doing is, if you were also following my previous videos, then I've actually been using a um, ATX standard PC, ATX power supply with an adapter for the um, motherboard feed so that I can actually connect it directly to this non 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 standard connector. And then this is going to sit here. No, wrong way around. Oh. see the back here it's not um, meant for ATX power supply so this should uh, this should like sit up there like that so what I did is that I made a oh come on I made a small template with the hole sizes and then the how what the opening should look like so uh, I only need to drill the four holes to, to hold the power supply and then I need to then cut away this area here. I mean I know it's not nice modifying original stuff but I think that I, I want to run this, this system with ATX power supply. And then of course I can, uh, if, if this power supply fails then I can um, put in another one. Now also, uh, this of course is very much newer, uh, newer tech, so it's um, probably less likely to fail due to capacitor failures. And then um, ATX power supplies, they have uh, quite good um, overcurrent protection and over voltage protection. So um, I think it's better to use these ATX power supplies. But as I said, I'm, not, I'm pretty much I'm against modifying but um, yeah, can't really do much about it. And um, when it comes to wait, when it comes to the ah, uh, this drives are actually still working on that. I haven't decided. Uh, should I have physical disk drives or should I have a USB? Base disk drives or one or one or one of each, and then of course since this is an Amiga, then over over you know, as I I'm going to continue building this out. I'm thinking the 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 will be like add-on cords for hard drives and memory, and but that that'll come later. So no, so now this is initially this unit is going to be started up with um, with disks only. So we'll see. So if you stay connected to the channel, and keep following that. I'll show the process of installing whatever I decide to put here. And then of course the most important part, the revealing part. Um, the template away. So the next bit is the actual oh, cover. Oh, they lost it. there. It's actually a bit tricky 
geht. Oh, there was one thing I forgot to show us that some of the some of these uh, ah now I know that it's an Omega 2000. Some of these Omega 2000 boxes has an extra support um, bar that goes inside that actually helps keep the keeps the um, box in, in the right form. So it's actually easier to get kind of on. It wasn't that difficult to get on. Okay, now. Yes, and then to cap it off, I was able to actually locate. These can be a bit difficult to get if you buy box parts. Like a, a box, box has parts, and it's the um, lead insert. And so I was actually lucky enough to find a seller who um, actually had one of these original parts left. So I've actually got that. So I don't have the covers for the to the disk drive, but as I said, I'm going to fill it, fill these two top ones with, or one of them at least, and then the bottom one ultimately is going to be also filled in with the five and quarter inch drive you know, at some later date. So anyway, here's the starting point for sub project activity. <laughs> so if you're interested, then um. Please consider subscribing, hit the bell icon for notifications, and um, I'll see you in the next one.